How's the auxiliary battery in your Jeep JL JT left you stranded? In this video, I'm gonna tell you a quick trick to bypass it and no longer have problems with auxiliary batteries anymore. For those of you who don't know, the, the Jeep JLs and the Gladiator JTs have an auxiliary battery. It actually lives underneath the fuse panel. The auxiliary battery actually is the size of like a motorcycle battery, but it lives below your fuse panel. It's a real pain in the butt to get to. And if you don't take care of it after a couple of years, it's gonna lose its charge and go bad and then you can't start your Jeep anymore, even if your main battery is fully charged. Also, when your auxiliary battery goes dead, it'll drain your main battery and make you think you have a dead battery, or make you think your main starting battery is dead as well. My Jeep is three years old, and I started noticing it was having a hard time starting, and I tested my main battery, and it tested fine. But it kept dying, and the auxiliary battery was draining the battery. After looking up the cost of the auxiliary batteries, I didn't really feel the need to use it. I don't use the um, ESS or the um, automatic stop start anymore. I have a taser and I bypass it. So I looked at ways of bypassing the battery. Now officially there is no way to bypass the auxiliary battery, but I'll put a picture of the fuse panel right over here. If you pull out fuse 42 on a 3.6 liter non-hybrid Jeep JL, that turns off the ESS and there's a solenoid or a relay that is on there. And when you put the start, when you try to start the vehicle, it looks to make sure you have 12 volts coming from that battery. If you pull the fuse, it only looks for the battery. All the only thing I have to do is unplug the negative terminal that goes to the auxiliary battery and wrap it up electrical tape so it can't short out. And that's it. And the cool thing is, if you ever have to take it in for service and you got to put it all back in, you just got to reconnect that to the terminal and put Fuse 42 back in, and you're back up and running like nothing ever happened. So don't wait till it's too late and the Jeep leaves you stranded. Let's get rid of that auxiliary battery. You don't need it anyway. My name is Brad, and this is my Jeep Shadow Trooper. If you find this interesting, please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.